smoke, sm smock, sm 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 why can't I say smoke? Probably because I don't smoke. Okay. This <laughs> throw in the towel, girl. All right, let's try this again. Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video. We're going over all of my monthly faves and fails. I know how much you guys love when I do these videos and it's really fun for me. I'm gonna kinda combine December and January and not all of these products are new. A lot of them are just products I just can't stop using, you guys. And I have a lot of beauty, but I have some lifestyle of couple, maybe like one piece or a couple pieces of jewelry that we'll throw in there. If you're new here, I'm Christy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell so you can get notified. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and I'd love for you to join our beautiful Glam Fam community. We have such a beautiful sisterhood here on YouTube and I just love hearing from you guys every Sunday so make sure you drop a comment below. Not only does it help my videos out but I just love hearing from you and love communicating with you guys back and forth and please hit that like button because it really does help my videos out when you guys like it and comment and all that fun stuff. And I have a new merch store if you are new to my channel and if you are not and you're returning every week you're probably sick of me talking about it but I'm so excited you guys glamorouslifecollections.com check out our merch we have so much fun stuff you can look at my last two videos I went more into it but when I'm not on YouTube be sure to follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram on TikTok Christy Allure and on my blog Christy and all of the Glamorous Life Collection socials as well and without further ado let's get started <laughs> of stuff to get through so I'm not gonna talk too much but I do want to focus on a couple items and other items I'm just gonna kind of talk about a little bit here and there just a very generalized but there's so much that I don't want to be here all night and I don't want you guys to get bored so <laughs> we'll start off with my skincare and it's dermatology all the way you guys you know I just continually rave about their products and this is a product line that I truly believed in before they even reached out to me and gave you guys a 20% off coupon, which if you use KRA20 at checkout, you get a really good 20% off discount. So be sure to check that out. But the two products that I just literally, actually there's three, but this, these two I just wanna focus on because I've talked about the other ones before. The Needle of Serum I've already focused on, so I don't need to go over too much of that. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal. I started off with that one, consistently using that one. I use it twice a day, in the morning, at night, and I only use two drops. And it says I think you can use up to six drops, I wanna say, but I only use two drops and it lasts me a long time. And remember, with that 20% off coupon, it is a really, really good deal. Now the vitamin CEF, which is ferulic acid, is newer to my regimen, but this has like completely been fading away my acne scars. Oh my God, this is like, I can't even tell you guys, this is my holy grail. I cannot live without this product now. It didn't break me out. I've tried so many vitamin C's from high end to low end, and this is the only one my sensitive skin can tolerate. So I'll just kind of quickly touch on those details right there. So it retails for $69, but with my 20% off coupon, you get about $13.80 off. With tax, it would come to like $59.20. So not a bad deal for such a phenomenal, phenomenal product. This advanced formula contains a potent blend of 15% vitamin C, 
L-azorbic acid, 1% vitamin E, and 0.5% ferulic acid. It provides superior antioxidant protection, minimizing signs of hyperpigmentation, and reduces the appearance of lines. It brightens the appearance of your overall complexion and provides advanced environmental protection against damaging free radicals. You guys, this is so incredible. I cannot tell you how much of a lifesaver this is. Between this and my Kills Ultra Facial Cream that I used before I put on my makeup, it is heaven sent. So what I do for my skincare routine now is I just do, I wash my face with the Vanna Cream Facial Wash. I talked about that in month, my Winter Essentials favorites video last December. And then I do the uh, needle serum first, and then I go in with the vitamin C, I go in with the Dermatology Hydro Fader, and then the Dermatology 10 times booster and the eye cream. Every night I do that. In the morning, I do the needle serum, the vitamin C, E, and F, and then I do the 10 times booster, the Vichy Hyaluronic Acid, and I just let that set on. For normal days, I don't wear makeup. And then when I start to do my makeup, right before I do my makeup, I go in with the Kills Ultra Facial Cream, and I do that right before I put my makeup on, and my makeup just glides on now, and it's just so smooth. For me, eye creams work just better at night. They don't work as good for me in the morning because it, if I'm doing makeup, if I'm not doing makeup, I'm okay. But if I'm doing makeup for some reason, the combinations just don't don't mix well for me. So that's the skincare I have been loving. Let's move on to makeup because there's so much makeup, you guys. All right, let's start off with, I, there's no new foundations. Yes, the Charlotte Tilbury is probably gonna remain my top favorite, but I still wanna give this a little bit more time before I give you guys an ultimate feeling. But right now, by far the number one foundation for mature skin. If you haven't checked out that video, if you're new to my channel, new to this video, go ahead and check out the Charlotte Tilbury brand new beautiful skin foundation with hyaluronic acid. It is a dream come true for us women over 40. It is phenomenal. Now let's go into powders like face powders, setting powders. You guys already know how I feel about my one size. If you're new to my channel, you can check out previous videos, but one size beauty is the one I love in Makeup Forever. Now, in Charlotte Tilbury, obviously, the airbrush uh, medium powder, talk about that all the time, but I really, it's the Chantecai that just is magical for me. When I have, like right now, I've had my makeup on because I filmed the last video already and I just changed my eyeshadow, but as far as like my makeup, this has been on in the Jaclyn Concealer, Jaclyn Cosmetics Concealer, which is, holding strong again i want to wait till future videos to really nail it down but that is holding on very strong i just did that video you can check that out on the new jacqueline cosmetics concealer but using a product like this with like my sonia g buffing brush and just going like this just it just refreshes my makeup in the most gorgeous way and i just could not live without this shantakai powder it is unbelievable yes it is expensive i understand that if you have the money it is something to truly invest in especially for us mature skin especially for women with really dry skin that don't really like powders this is a miracle powder a miracle miracle powder all right, I just did the blush palette and I have this on from Jaclyn Hale and this quickly moved into my favorites, you guys. This is phenomenal. This blush is insanely beautiful. I have a feeling I'm gonna be reaching for this more often than not. And I think there's no talc in it. I'll show the ingredients right there, but I'm pretty sure there's no talc in this. And the highlighter, the highlighter is amazing. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have it on right now. It is stunning. Okay, and I did the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette in that last video, but I redid my eyeshadow to match my blue top, which I'll go over my top in just a second as well. But as far as eyeshadows go, oh, you guys, okay. I have two that really just hit number one for me, and that is the Smoke Sessions Melt Cosmetics palette. You guys, is insanely beautiful. Oh my gosh, it is a dream come true for us women with that love green eyeshadows. I did a look over the holidays with this palette, and I used this with my Hourglass. You guys know I love the green one, is my favorite, this one. The Scattered Lights Vivid with this palette is like, if you have this, I think Susan in San Francisco, I think Susan has this. 
and um, this together is like oh, chef's kiss, you guys. It's at Sephora. You can get it at Beauty Bay. I got it on Beauty Bay for sale, so if you can catch the sales there, I, I'm not sure who else has it. Melt Cosmetics, obviously, .com, but it is beautiful. And those are the swatches right there. This palette runs $48. Let me tell you, every single color in there is stunning. If you're not into greens, this probably is not your palette. But if you are into greens and you like to play with even like the turquoise colors, actually, I could have used this today. I used something else, but I could have used this too because it would have gone well with this teal top. But it is like my number one palette right now. I love, not number one, I shouldn't say number one because Vizzy Art palettes will always be my number one, but it is. It's on top of most of my other Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath palettes. It is insanely beautiful, but it's very specific because if you're not that big of a fan of colored shadows and green shadows, it's probably not gonna be your shadow. This ultimately would be the palette that I would say I cannot live without. I'm, I'm serious, you guys. I cannot live without this palette. This is the Vizzy Art 03 Bridal Satin Eyeshadow Palette for $80. I ended up picking this up in the Sephora sale over the holidays, and I have not put it down since then. I've created a whole, and these are all satin shadows. There's no mattes in this. And I created the most beautiful New Year's Day look with this palette, you guys. It is in insanely beautiful. I mean, every single color, you can see the swatches right there. Swatch, I don't, I'm not a big fan of satin shadows. I like metallics and I like mattes, but I've never been a fan of satins. Where satins play such a huge role with mature textured eyelids or anybody with textured eyelids is that they glide on like butter. And when you have a mistake and you feel like some of your mattes are a little too patchy, there's not glitters in here. So they're gonna be very subtle and very sheen, but they're highly pigmented. This is the best sheen eyeshadows on the market. There is nothing better, nothing. Not, not Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona or any other high-end, well, those are the two probably biggest brands, I should say, for eyeshadow nothing can come close to what Vizzy Art has created. Their mattes are ultimately the best and these satins are, this palette is a must have. This is going to make the most, I mean bridal, it, it would be the one I would wanna use if I was getting married. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. Every single color, you guys, I have this one on and that one on the inner corner and brow bone. And then I have it mixed in with, uh, this is just like a little Z palette. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. This is M240. It's a gorgeous teal. Everyone uses Makeup Forever products, but not a lot of people use their individual shadows unless you're a pro makeup artist. And they're phenomenal. They're really, really good. I think this is gonna be the year that I'm not gonna go crazy over every eyeshadow palette launch, and unless it's something that's really stands out to me just because I own too many palettes. I really like individual shadows because I like being in, be able to, like I love Vizzy Art because I can flip these in and out, mix them. I mix my neutral and my matte palette. You guys know that, those are my number one matte palettes right there. I always interchange those. So I love for when I travel, I can interchange. I don't have to bring 50 million palettes with me. So I think this is gonna be the year. I. I know the new Bridgerton Pat McGrath collaboration came out. They weren't colors I was that interested in. I didn't watch the show. I tried to get into it. I know all of my girlfriends love that show, like obsessed with that show. I tried to get into it and I just couldn't. Two episodes in and I was falling asleep. Like I just couldn't, you guys. And I'm sure a lot of people love it. If you comment below, if you love that show, I'm sure a lot of people love it, but it was just hard for me to get into that show. Maybe I'll give it a little bit more of a chance, but yeah, I guess I just love junk TV too much. <laughs> All right, let's be honest here, let's get real. <laughs> now, as the other palette I wanna talk about is the Pat McGrath. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey palette that she launched for her holiday 2021 collection. I wasn't gonna pick this up, and then when she had that huge sale at the end of the year, I decided it was such a good deal, I decided to pick it up. This is stunning. Take a look at those swatches, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is the most gorgeous metallics. Oh, it's metallic heavy on this one. But that's why I like these palettes because I am such a fan of her metallics more than even her mattes. I mean, her mattes are good, but her metallics and her special 
shades are just what make Pat McGrath stand out when it comes to eyeshadow. I don't like the pinks. I think I've already talked about that in the last Natasha Denona video I did. That's why I almost didn't get this palette. It was almost a little too heavy on the pinks for me, but I thought, okay, four, that's maybe five, not too bad. I wanted that teal and that's what I have on my eyes, you guys. I have I just the two blues right there is what I have on and they are insane. And this color right here, I think Regina, Regina, did you pick this up? I think she picked this up during the sale as well. I don't know if Amber, if you picked that up, but it is beautiful, you guys. I mean, look at that. Combined with that Makeup Forever matte, it just, and then I put, you know, I was having a little patchy issues because I had another eyeshadow on and I only took that off and it was kind of, it just when I do that, it never works out really great for me. So um, this is a very smoky eyed look. I just wanted something fun, but I used a little bit of that and it patched up some of those holes. That's what I'm saying. This palette is like a must have in your collection, you guys. Together with my neutrals palette, oh, chef's kiss. This is all I'll travel with are those two palettes. And then my little mini Pat McGrath palettes. You guys know I love those to travel with as well, but Ah, uh, those eyeshadow palettes, I cannot get enough. So definitely my top right here. Whew, so pretty. I have some other ones I wanna try out too that we'll talk about later, but that's it for eyeshadow. What's next, you guys? As far as eyelashes go, let me put that away so I don't get confused. So I have been trying to, I don't have them on now, but this is the magnetic lashes. I wore them in the Charlotte Tilbury video and the Natasha Denona video I launched earlier in January and they're phenomenal. I love this one. This is the Lavish, and then I also like Lush. So good, and this magnetic liner from Glamnetic is really good, and it doesn't irritate my eyes. That's what I appreciate about this stuff. It is so, so, so good. So you can use my coupon, Christy Allure, at checkout, and you'll get 15% off your Glamnetic lashes. If you don't wanna do it that way, you can also get them at Ulta and Sephora, and I do have affiliate links for that as well. So try them out, you guys. If you, I was not a magnetic kind of girl. I talked about this in the Natasha Mini Biba. I was, I'm just never liked the magnetic. It just, to me, just didn't look right. But these look amazing. And she did a phenomenal job with them. So really good alternative way to use lashes if you're a lash lover like me. All right, what do we have next? Let's talk about this liner because this is, I talked about this in the last Jaclyn video. This hourglass liner, I could not live without this liner now. And I'm gonna tell you why, because I am a lash person and I only wear false lashes. I mean, it just, that's who I am. I'm a glamorous girl, glamorous life collections, shameless plug. <laughs> but seriously, you guys, like I don't leave the house without my lashes. I love my lashes. But the problem with lashes is there's a big disconnect, especially for me, I'm okay because I have black, I mean, not okay, but a little bit better than somebody with lighter hair or blonder hair because there's always gonna be a disconnect on if you don't line the upper rim right there. I do have a lash video you guys can check out, but I need to do an updated one. That was from, I think last year or a year before. But anyway, this is so good. Oh, this is the most, it's, a, it's pricey you guys, but it is phenomenal. I don't have all the prices memorized, so I'll just include them on the bottom right there. I'll show a, a, a screenshot, but yeah, this is so amazing. This is well worth it. I will continue to purchase this. This is definitely a staple in my collection now. It's so good. I used to like the Makeup Forever one, but now I love this one. It's just, no, I don't think I can live without that one. <laughs> Another product I wanna talk about is Senna, I think it's how you say it, Senna Eyebrow Gel. So this is a little bit lighter, but what I like about this is because my hair is so blonde, and my eyebrows are normally dark, I like to like lighten them up a little because it just, it comes off too harsh. And my eyebrows are a work in progress. I don't have perfect eyebrows. I don't have amazing eyebrows. I just, they don't grow in amazing. They're just terrible. They're awful, uh, awful, awful eyebrows. I wish I can have different eyebrows. I really do, <laughs> but I, I don't. So you know what, I gotta work with what I have. So this product and this product are my holy, well, not holy grails, I should say, and my, and my lime cream. I have a lot of holy girls, don't I? It's like I have a lot of best friends, I tell you. 
<laughs> I'm just that girl. I'm so like, oh my god, I love you. You're my best friend. Everyone's my best friend. The brow product, uh, I really, I talked about this a lot last year, but this is an eyeliner. This is actually an eyeliner lash serum, but this works the best on my eyebrows. The best. I didn't like it as much for a liner, but I love it. And this is black. They have a very black for like eyeliner, but this is black, which comes off almost like a cool brown. And that's why I like it. Most of the brow products, I like the NYX one. That's one of my favorite ones, but it fades really fast. This is just Oof, it's so good. It finally flicks in those hairs in the front, which I don't have that I have to fake. And that's the only product. And then when I just really want something light, it is just, and it lasts all day. It's flipping amazing, seriously, you guys. And then Bushy Brow from Lime Crime is the only eyebrow gel so far that I feel like works the best. But this one, and as far as brow glue type products, the Anastasia Brow Freeze is the only thing I would recommend. It's just the ultimate as far as that, like that soap brow look. But I just can't get my eyebrows to stay that way. It just, my, I don't have those gorgeous, bushy, soap brow look brows. But this is really, really good. So I wanna get the clear version because this sticks like, it, and I like the Makeup by Mario when I rated that one really well at Summer around here, but this stays a lot better and so does the Lime Crime one. Those probably stay the best. I also like the Huda Beauty one a lot for really detailed work because it's so micro thin, you guys. This is like the most micro thin spoolie. I thought the Charlotte Tilbury one was micro thin and the Lime Crime, but this one is crazy good and what i like is you can really get in there without getting it too messy and this is another good way to lighten your brows too this is a perfect color for that so i'll put the color and everything on the bottom but i do really like this huda one it just doesn't stay up as good as like the lime crime one so those are my favorite brow products right now I have a lot of others, but just ones that I've been really focusing on. Another thing I want to talk about are these little guys right here. So you get a ton of them and I'll put the price point right there. I get them on Amazon. They're in my Amazon store uh, under beauty or lashes and I just knocked everything over. But these are the only sponges I like. I've tried all the sponges on the market and these are the only ones that I have found that are pho nominal. I don't know what it is about these sponges on Amazon. You get a, a ton for a very, very inexpensive price. If you have a hard time with metallics or some palettes are not good, this pretty much works on every palette. They are so, so good for metallics. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I'll use, if you guys want me to do an eyeshadow look on either the Pat McGrath one, the Smoke Sessions, or this one, let me know, comment below, and I'll do an eyeshadow look for that. And I'll start using these in my, I forgot to use them in the last few videos, but oh, so, so, so good, you guys. And it's another eye product, one last one, are these Sephora pencils. I talked about these in the Natasha Denona video a little bit, but yeah, I continue to use these. I like using them as bases for my eyeshadow. They're so good, that's the brown. And then this is the nude. Oh my gosh, they glide on and they make such beautiful eyeshadow bases. And those are the Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow and Eyeliner Multi-Stick for $14. They're a long wear creamy formula that lasts up to 12 hours. They're available in 25 shades. Oh my gosh, they're just insanely good. You should check out the other colors when you go into Sephora next. All right, the other two eyeshadow products I really like is this Victoria Beckham. You guys know I like Beckham Beauty. And this is in Midnight. I had another color, which color do I have here? I had this one first and this was Honey. It's pretty, but it didn't amaze me as much as this blue one. Oh my gosh, I'm a blue and green girl. I love blues and greens for eyeshadows. I think it's such a beautiful way to play up brown eyes. And this blue, whew, I could have done this today too. Oh my gosh. Gosh, this is the most, I did a look just for fun the other day and I was like, what? I used it with the Melt Cosmetics Blueprint eyeshadow because I picked that up when I got the smoke sessions. And if you like blues and browns, this is a, a whoa, this is really good too. I should have included that as well. But yeah, together, oh, 
oh, these are so, so pretty. I'll put the price point right there and what it looks like in the swatch. Oh my gosh, you guys, those are so pretty. And then I also want to include my Valentino. I talked about these and I did this in a video recently at the end of last year, but this blue is also so bright. As you can tell, I love blues, but they come in other colors. These have been sold out, but they are so beautiful. I'll show all the colors right there that I talked about in the video I did, but yeah, they're so, so pretty. They are worth it. And Valentino, I mean, come on, I wish I could afford more of their products. All right, this Dior, maximizer serum you guys know i'm a big fan of the lip maximizers from dior and i wanted to try this out i used my points to get it so i was like gosh i hope i like it and i do i love it it is really really good and it's it's nothing uh, like there's no gloss to it it just is so incredibly hydrating hydrating you can tell even on my skin so imagine what it does for your lips so what I like about this is sometimes I just don't like wearing lipstick. I just wanna go out of the house not wearing lip gloss or lipstick, especially when I'm wearing a mask. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer Serum for $35. It's hydrating, plumping, has very, again, light coverage. It's just more of a clear universal lip maximizer. I don't get that like uh, tingling feeling at all. I don't even feel like there's any lip plumping properties in there, but I don't know if I can honestly say that it's making my lips go poosh, not like the Fenty, probably the Fenty ones and the Buxom ones do that the most. But yeah, this is amazing. My favorite Buxom still, this is the one I probably reach for the ultimate as I have it on right now. This is Princess from Buxom. I have been using this for years, like over probably since they launched, which was like, I think a couple decades ago now that I remember. It is like my favorite, favorite, favorite gloss ever. It is just goes with everything. I love this one. And it looks crazy because it's like purpley gold, but on the lips, it just, I don't know what it does. It's just so beautiful. I love that lip gloss. It's my number one lip gloss. All right, one other powder I do want to mention because I feel like I mentioned Charlotte Tilbury and Chantecaille a lot, but you guys see that I use this a lot in my videos and I don't, it, this is magical powder, let me tell you. I could even use this in place of the Charlotte Tilbury one. It's not as pore minimizing, but it is so beautiful for under the eyes. I could probably use this powder in place of the one size one. So let's just say the one size one is too much for you. It's a foundation powder. This would be the next step down where it still gives you that coverage but it's a little bit lighter. This is a sleeper, because I don't hear any beauty influencers talk about this at all. This is my holy grail. I've been using this for a long time, for many years. This is Eden. It is so, so, so good. I love this for just like really smoothing out that under eye right there. It just really, and even like setting my eyeshadow base, I only set with this now. It's just, it's phenomenal, not now, like I have been doing that. I kind of switch off between that and Charlotte Tilbury, but yeah, this is, a, a, that's definitely amazing. Like, wow, amazing. All right, one other highlighter I do want to mention, and this is for my girls, I love my Jaclyn highlighters, but this is for my girls that don't like a lot of highlighter, like maybe that's too intense for you. I use this when I do like my no makeup makeup days, and it's so pretty. This is the Ambient Strobe Light Powders, and this is brilliant. This is so beautiful, you guys, for just a very, 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 very natural look. Let me show you. It, like, it's so subtle, but it's there. This is the Wayne Goss airbrush I always use. Let's try this side. See how it just, it's almost like a glow from within. If you have any kind of texture, this is the, oh, it's so beautiful, you guys, right? Oh, this is so, so, so pretty. I love that. So that's kind of a new product for me. I wasn't using that. I have a couple new hourglass things on the way as well, but you guys know I'm a big fan of hourglass. So I love that. And I think that's very underrated as well. That is a very, very, especially for mature skin. I think that is beautiful. One little, actually, this is kind of, falls into beauty. This is from Riki by Riki. I love my mirrors from Glamcore, which is Riki by Riki. I have the big one. I have 
the kind of vanity size one, which is awesome for traveling. I got my two cousins, my sissies into it, Shannon and Tisha, so they, they love it. I just love Reiki by Reiki, but this is brand new. So this just came out on their site. I'm sure Ulta will carry it at some point, but this is so cute. These are like your little travel for your brushes, but it pulls out so you can store it like that or pull it out and put, you know, it, you can go to whatever size brushes you have. And that is unbelievable. So let's put that BK Beauty in there. So say like you, I guess what you could do is probably store it like that. I just realized that and travel that way. And this is a nice snap closure. And then when you get somewhere, you can just push it down. I wanna get another one of these. And then you have your brushes out like that. I love, I have the Makeup Forever ones and I have a ton of Amazon ones, but I don't like the Amazon ones. They're just cheap and they're flimsy. And they, the Makeup Forever one, uh, that one right there is my favorite. That's the one I use the most. But I actually really like this one. And I was looking for something more compact. So I'm not, I just, I wish I can be that girl that can only bring like two brushes but I can't, that's just not who I am. I do wanna get my hands on the BK Beauty travel set. But anyway, let's, uh, I, I digress. <laughs> let's get back to this. And it has little slots right, or a little slot right there. You can put something else in there. Probably like your puff, like my uh, little beauty blender puff that I use. I love this puff. Oh yeah, that fits perfectly in there. Ooh, that was perfect, you guys. Okay, see, look at that. Now that won't be all loose. So I'd probably put like my setting brushes, like my powder brushes and stuff like that in there. I wanna get two more of these, one for my eyeshadow, one for my bronzers. I know, I know, it's just way too much to travel with. I'm so high maintenance and I totally admit it. <laughs> I am not ashamed to admit that. All right, let's go into lifestyle. So I'm gonna start off with these. So for all of my ladies out there, raise your hand, do the hand emoji in the comments section. Do you still get, or do you get car sick? Do you get motion sickness? Do you get sick on boats or anything that moves, airplanes? I have your solution. And I used to get car sick as a kid, it, it kind of, dwindled off through my 20s and 30s, but it came back full strong in my 40s. Now I literally want to get sick whenever somebody else drives. Like I get so incredibly car sick now, like dizzy, nauseous, I wanna, you know. And I just was like taking Dramamine, which helped, but I just get so sleepy with Dramamine. So I don't mind if it's like nighttime and I wanna come home and sleep, then I'll take the Dramamine because nothing works better than Dramamine, but, uh, or if anyone has any other solutions, comment below. But this has been a lifesaver, you guys. Okay, so this is Blisslets, and I got my mom's, well, she's like my, she's like a, a god mommy to me, but she was one of my mom's best friends too. But this is from, um, I got her them, and they work really well because she gets car sick, and so she's been using these now, and she loves them. She actually got me started on the C-band one. She sent me those, and I really like those. So those are really nice, you know, like an alternative, and I like those for like, you know, if it's something, if I'm going more casual, I'll use those because they're more like a wristband type thing. But for like going out every day, oh. So I have the medium and the small. I wanted to show you guys the sizing of them. Let me see. That's the medium and that's the small. They both fit me. The small is really small, so be careful. But the tighter it is, and I have really tiny wrist. I'm like super tight, I have like little kids wrist and ankles and these work out. So the small is better for me because they do stretch out. So not, not a lot though, just a little bit, just a teensy bit, but you want that pressure to be right there. So right there is the, that little ball. So it's, you know, you can feel the little ball in there, but that's what's helping you with the motion sickness and it has to be touching that way. And then there's the medium too that you can do, but this is the black and gold and silver ones that I really love. I wear these a ton. I have so many, I have so many in the car and my purses, my travel bags. I don't get air sickness, sometimes I do, but not. I, I'm not like to the point where I get sick, but just a little nausea sometimes in the air, but not really, I don't get, uh, that's not as often for me. Car sick, whew, badly. So especially new car smell, it used to be a joke, you guys, fun fact about me. My grandpa, who is like six foot three Japanese guy, my dad's side, uh, my dad's dad, he used to pick me up from school a lot, and he, he liked new cars. He just liked to buy new cars a lot. And he'd come pick me up, and lo and behold, every time he'd pick me up in a new car, I'd initiate it with my sickness. 
every single time he'd go, darn it. And he was like, he was a teddy bear to me, but to most people he was, he, he, he was very stern and very intimidating and very scary. <laughs> you don't mess with him. And I didn't mess with him or my brother or anyone and all my cousins, but I was the only granddaughter on that side. I was the only girl. So he had a softness for me, but yeah, he never got mad at me, but I'm sure he did to my, my dad and my mom, but <laughs> he never got mad. He always took really, really good care of me. And in the Japanese culture, I think it's called Amber. I think you probably know this. Okai, I think is what it's called, where they do the rice water. You boil um, the rice in hot water and you give that and it, it takes away all the nausea and the vomiting and stuff like that. So it's a really good trick if you have kids at home. Uh, I'm sure the recipe is online. I'll, I'll show it right here if I can find it. But anyway, that was, he always did that for me when, when I got sick. So <laughs> anyway, these are heaven sent you guys. And I love that she or whoever, the, I'm assuming it's a girl that came out with this, uh, created this and I'll, sh I'll link it below. I don't have any affiliate codes. I just really truly believe in these. You can't find them on an Amazon or anything. I found them on Instagram. I actually was just on Instagram and the ad popped up. I don't know why. Maybe it was something I was searching on Google and that, I don't know. That's weird. Does that ever happen to you guys with Instagram? I feel like sometimes when I look things up on Google, all of a sudden on Instagram, I see it. Like that's kind of scary. <laughs> Gosh. And I always put that don't track me stuff on the new iPhone apps. But anyway, I digress <laughs> again. I got derailed. These are amazing. And I have the gold ones and I have the navy blue and red one. I just like to collect them. I have the uh, brown leather watch looking like one. You can see that one there. They're all, they all work amazing. They're so, so good. They come in these cute little, I, these are like recyclable type bags. I want to say too, this product contains natural rubber latex, which may cause allergic reactions. Oh, that from this probably. I don't know about this. This looks like one of those like um, organic type uh, covers, but they're really cute. I love them and I keep them in my purse at all times. Even again, when I travel just in case, especially if we're renting a car or something like that. But I wanted to talk about this last year and I completely forgot because I've been using them for almost a year now and I love them. I want to do more lifestyle stuff too, you guys. I want to get into that because I feel like I don't talk about that stuff and I feel like we can get a little more personal that way as well. Speaking of lifestyle, so I know a lot of us are, uh, you know, starting a new year. A lot of people like to go on health kicks. I pretty much stay the same, you know, like give or take here and there during the holidays, you know, everyone kind of cheats a little bit, but for the most part, I eat very clean and very good. This year I decided I don't like to do these New Year's resolutions. I just, I never stick to them anyway. Let's be honest, who does? And I don't like to say I'm going to go on the diet January 1st because I feel like I do that all year round. Like I'm pretty good about my eating. And this is one product that I really, 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 really love. And this is something because I don't eat pasta and do all that stuff. I mean, once in a great while I'll cheat and have, you know, a good fun meal. But for the most part, these are two products I like. So I'll show you those noodles right there. Those are like incredible. I have the most incredible thing I cook. I use that mushrooms, ground turkey, and the tomato basil marinara sauce that I really like. And I'll show the ones, I'll show the recipe right there. Not recipe, but the items right there. It's really no recipe. That's all you do is throw that into a pan. And that is the most incredible spaghetti. It is so, so good and it's guilt-free. It is insanely good. They do have a little bit of that smell, so you have to rinse them out really good, but not, not as bad as some of the old ones that I used in the past. I've always used these kind of noodles and I actually genuinely really like them. I'll mix them with pesto sauce sometimes too, but I just don't feel good when I eat like pasta starches and stuff like that. I usually usually only use like grain free or sprouted bread is all I use. So that's the sprouted bread I love from O365 from the multi-grain one from Whole Foods. I usually have like one slice of that in the morning with my salmon and that's how I, well not morning for me, it's breaking the fast because I do intermittent fasting. But anyway, let's get back to the noodle maker. So this is on Amazon. I bought this last year and I'll show the little video clip of me using it it actually works I've used other ones in the past that did not work but this one actually works it's 
currently on sale on Amazon right now too. So I don't know if it still will be by the time I do this video, but it's really good. So it's the Starfrit Rotato Espresso Electric Peeler. And I like it because what I like to do is do my cucumbers that way. You can also do squash. I like squash as well, but I like doing the cucumber or zucchini noodles. I love zucchini noodles, but I've been doing the cucumber. I like this like um, to do like miso dressing and mix it in with the um, cucumber like and make it like noodles and then put in some like ground turkey or shrimp or something like that in there oh so good if you want me to do more videos like this because i'm such a health person then let me know comment below but i just i don't know whether you guys want to see that or not but i kind of want to start mixing that into my channel this year and just doing fun stuff like that so let me know below but that that is a really really awesome awesome tool i really like that for such a good price on amazon all right, let's go into the next one. That's my Legendary Foods Almond Butter. I love this stuff. I have been using this for the last three, four years now. And this is so, it's like a dessert, you guys. And this is the only flavor I really like. I've tried the other ones, especially when I was at Olympia, I got to sample all of them. And this is my favorite. This is the blueberry. I talked about this last week in my video, but I'm a huge cinnamon roll person. Like I love anything cinnamon I love. So cinnamon and blueberry, it was like, whoo, that's a combo right there. It is really good. And you you could put that on either a rice cracker or I like just eating it with celery or just putting it in my oatmeal. I use like still, oat. I like the still oats from Trader Joe's so good in the frozen section and i like put like a scoop of that in there and that adds a little bit of protein in there as well so love that it's so 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 delicious you guys all right the next item is a fashion more of a fashion item and this is the ugg women's sheepskin insoles for 19.95 i picked these up and i love these my uggs were getting a little on the old side i think i've had them for like four years now and i needed to change out that insert and i was like oh is it get it made it like new again i was like oh my gosh it feels like i don't have to buy another pair of uggs like they're so so comfortable again so really like those and i actually put them in my ankle booties that i mentioned in my winter essentials video i put i got a pair and put those in there too and oh my gosh they make my shoes so incredible it feels like they're uggs when i really only spent like 20 bucks on amazon so i love 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 those insoles all right that's it for my fashion and lifestyle maybe i'll add more in there if you guys want to see it i did want to talk about this shirt really fast so i got this at target and i'll put the brand right there i think it's universal thread i like a lot of their stuff this is such a cute little top for i think it was like 17.99 i'll have the price right there it is so so cute and it's so comfortable and i love the blue it comes in different colors as well such a good price point you know use your red card five percent off they always have really good deals universal thread too so really like that the other thing i want to point out is just a couple of jewelry items so i have and i talked about this last year i have my little cartilage piercing right there i want to get this I done but I'm nervous because this one was painful this took a whole year to to heal but I usually just had the stud in there I lost the stud over Christmas and I don't know where it went I don't know why it didn't stay in my ear like they normally do really well so I was reading and I was having a little bit of issues with my cartilage piercing because I like to sleep on that side I try not to sleep on my side but I do I end up sleeping on that side and uh, what I like is that this is a screw back. So you can actually screw it in there and it's really much better for cartilage piercings. And I, after reading multiple articles, because when I lost that earring, it closed up almost like pretty much was closed up. It was like bleeding, like excruciating pain because I was trying to shove an earring in there and I could not get an earring in there for the life of me. And I thought, oh my gosh, am I gonna have to go through this painful process again because I like it so much. And I was so devastated. And then finally, like after multiple tries in Google and YouTube videos, <laughs> I figured out how to get the earring back in there and I thought never again is this happening and then I just read that the screw backs for cartilage piercings are so much better and I've heard that too for other piercings that people leave in all the time like I never really take out my uh, my you know third I have like four holes on each side so I love piercings they're just my favorite not I don't get too crazy with the, all the other ones but just I like the simple ones right there 
maybe not simple, but you know what I mean. But yeah, I love this earring, you guys. And it looks like I have three piercings and it's just one solid earring. It's just like a three diamond and it's held up beautifully. So I'll put the price right there and show you guys that I got it on Amazon. And it is just heaven sent because let me tell you, I don't want to go through that devastating, that devastation, number one, and the pain, number two, and all the blood, <laughs> number three. I don't want to go through that again. So hopefully this stays in. It's been on for about a month now, I guess. Yeah, a little over a month and it's working out perfectly. You guys know I love my cuffs from Amazon. I mean, not Amazon, Melinda Maria. These are my, this is the Princess Egyptian cuff. And then these little, uh, little, diamond uh, type hoops I got on Etsy and I really really like this one I'll show you guys the brand right there who the seller and uh, the, I'll have the link in the description but these are amazing these little guys so it's hard to find little huggies right that really clo go close because I don't have a very big ear so for me it's like a lot of them are just too big so it was just a really perfect size huggy and then the other thing i want to talk about these are the two items that i love and i've been wearing like I, I feel like that's all i ever want to wear and this is i have been wanting this necklace and i had a ton of points with melinda maria because that's the thing with melinda maria if you keep if you part of her club and you keep purchasing 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 and i buy a lot of her stuff it eventually adds up and you can get like 75 50 off so i finally was able to get my bar bones or i think this is the baby duchess the baby duchess necklace so i'll show it right there Oh, it's expensive, you guys. It's really expensive. But the thing about Melinda Maria is her diamonds are like real diamonds. And you can, she has a lot of, I have a lot of her pendant diamonds that are just literally look like real diamonds. The best quality jewelry you'll ever use, you guys. The best. I'm not sponsored by her. I just talk a lot about her jewelry because I love it. I fell in love with it and that's all I ever want to buy now is her stuff. And then this is Melinda Maria. This is a pendant as well. And it's like a little diamond right here on the pendant. Oh, it's so, so, so pretty. I got this one on sale too for such a good price point and her jewelry just holds up, it never fades. I love her quality pieces and I love, her cuffs are my favorite. So, so pretty. And I usually wear like Alexa Kelly rings and this is Melinda Maria. This is like her cigar with like a little diamond in there. It's so cute, right? This is such a pretty ring and it's so comfortable too. So I really love her jewelry. I talk a lot about that in my monthly favorites, but sometimes people ask me what my jewelry is. So at least that kind of helps you out a little. All right, we've covered all of my favorites, you guys. Let's go over a few of the fails. I know, I know, I don't want to talk about this, but this is the Natasha Denona Mini Vivo palette. You guys, I did the look. I couldn't, I just couldn't get myself to like this palette. I just couldn't. It's one of those palettes where I'm just like, yeah, no, it's done. I actually ended up returning it because I'm like, I can't, I don't have that kind of money where I'm just like, oh, I don't need it. I'll just keep it. It, it just didn't work for me. It is just not, I mean, $25 is $25. You may like it. Other people may love it. I, it just did not work for me alongside the Rose Cheek Duo that was another thing. I just couldn't get that to even really show up on my skin. The highlighter was pretty, but nothing like this Jaclyn Hill one, which is a much better price point. You know, I'd rather have this blush and highlighter for what, $18, whatever the price is, than that for $19 and very little product. So those were two big fails for me. I was so bummed because I really wanted that collection when she launched it. And I was so excited to get that video out and do it. And it just was such an epic fail for me. Like, I'm so sad. I didn't want to, I didn't want to not love it. And then the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel, another thing that I just don't feel like $26, I think it is. I don't think that's worth it. And I just feel like you can get the got to be glue and that works better in less, I mean, what, six, $7 at Ulta. Like I heard they're coming out with the brow gel. So hopefully that comes out soon because I'm really excited to try that out. But yeah, just really big fails for me. And then the other one I want to talk about is the Nude Sticks Nude Plumping Lip Glossé. I got Nude 06. For $28, you guys, that was just a big fail for me. So don't, I would not waste your money on that, to be quite honest. And that's it, you guys. That was really all of my fails. I do have a couple other products I want to try out. I did buy the Victoria Beckham blush stick. So we need to try this out in a video. I haven't even tried it out yet. So we'll get into that. I have the Retinol Peace 
face stick coming in the mail soon. So hopefully that comes soon. And uh, that, that I'm excited to try that out as well. A lot of new makeup coming up. Let me know if you want me to do any looks on those eyeshadow palettes we discussed today, especially this one that is just like so good. So any of these products, comment below and let me know if you want any tutorials on. And also let me know what you guys want to see. I'd love to hear from you guys videos that you would like me to create. I'm thinking of doing an over 40 must have essentials like that type of video. I did one a while back and actually got a ton of views like five, four years ago with all of my favorite products for over 40. I know the NARS just came out with their Scattered Lights foundation. The only problem with that one is it has coconut oil and that affects my skin. So I don't know, I'm I'm teetering on picking that up or not because I'm pretty sure it's probably going to affect my skin. All of my other affiliate links will be on the bottom. Again, you guys, it really does help me out and it's no extra cost to you. It just really helps support my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And be sure to check out Glamorous Life Collections, my new merch, so excited about that, you guys. Let me know, comment below if you've picked up anything yet. I will have some physical items soon. I ordered myself just so I can show you guys on camera. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go and click that post notification bell so you can get notified. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and we love for you to become part of the Glamorous Life Glam Fam. And give this video a huge thumbs up and click that like button when you hit the like button and when you comment below it. As always, I can't even talk. It really does help my channel out and follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, Christy Allure, and on my blog, ChristyAllure.com, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. You, watch me under the light, so keep me in